what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and today we have a quick video on an update on a player that has been on the trade market for at least a year now and probably a little bit more than that at this point. Arizona Coyotes defenseman Jacob Chikrin is back in the rumor mill and um, we're going to talk about that today. So really Nothing really new here, and in terms of the same teams that are being linked to Chikrin and things like that, but it really comes down to the Coyotes are not willing to move on from Chikrin if there is not two first-round picks in the deal. And the problem is, I, I understand why the Coyotes are looking for that, but it seems like everybody offering is not throwing in that second round, that second first-round pick. And I think that the Coyotes are getting a little bit frustrated. Now, the first report came back from about a week ago. About a week ago, okay. Get that out of the way. It's believed the Coyotes have several suitors for defenseman Chikrin, but are waiting for a two first round pick plus more package to come along with that. And then we got some more updates more recently. And it was not really good news here for the Coyotes and the first report um, basically was just saying that you know the Coyotes are frustrated that they're not getting the offers that they want for Chikrin. Um, yeah this is from NHL Trade Rumors they said uh, the Arizona Coyotes continue to reject trade offers as no team has been willing to include a second first round pick in their offer for defenseman Jacob Chikrin. So it sounds like the offers are out there the interest is there it's just not the price that the Coyotes want, and they're pretty adamant at getting that package that they want. So they're going to sit on it a little bit longer, and the saga of Jacob Chikrin and the Coyotes continues. You know, honestly, for his sake, I hope this gets done somewhat soon. You know, this is a guy that's been in Arizona for a couple years, was drafted by the Coyotes in the old regime, right, under John Chaka, and is really a building block for a team looking to get to the playoffs. And I think with where the Coyotes are at, you know, they're still another two or three years away from really competing. And I think that Chikrin has said, listen, I've been here long enough. I've seen this story long enough. I just want to change the scenery. And I think the Coyotes want to see what kind of package is out there for him. And, you know, unfortunately for the Coyotes, that offer just hasn't, the offers have not really been that flattering. And as much as I think Chikrin likes the jerseys that he gets to wear in Arizona and getting to play in Arizona, you know, it's one of those things that I think he's just, I think he's just ready to get out of AZ. Uh, the other rumors we've been hearing in terms of teams that have been linked to Chikrin, and you can assume these are the teams giving the offers to Jacob Chikrin. Uh, the first one comes in here. Uh, from the fourth period, they said the Los Angeles Kings are still in communication with Coyotes defenseman Jacob Chikrin. Uh, we've also heard over the last, really since this whole thing started, uh, the Ottawa Senators have been tied to Chikrin. I think it's a long shot, but the Vancouver Canucks could be a team in the mix there. Um, you know, there's a couple teams that are going to be looking at Chikrin as a potential option on the blue line. You can never discount the Florida Panthers, especially with how their season has gotten so far this year. You wonder if maybe they're willing to throw in a first-round pick this year and next year, maybe at, at the NHL draft, to potentially pick up the Boca Raton native. That could potentially be on the table. But again, now we're starting to talk about next summer and... Again, when you talk about a massive trade like this, it's going to be a team, if they're willing to trade their first round pick this year, they want to have the security of at least one of those first round picks being outside of the lottery, right? Because if you're giving up two first round picks, you can't say, oh, well, we'll give up next year's first round pick instead. The problem is, in the two first round pick package, unless you have multiple first round picks from multiple teams it would be your next two years of first round picks. And that's very dangerous for any team in the National Hockey League. Even a team that's at the top of the standings right now, say like the Minnesota Wild in their division, by next summer, you don't know how things are gonna go. And next season, they could really struggle and really be wishing, damn, maybe we should have kept that pick next year. So it's one of those things that I think will, again, the conversation will come up again at the draft. I know a couple of teams were pretty on hot pursuit 
for Jacob Chikrin last year, and they went elsewhere. The Islanders were supposedly interested in Chikrin, and a lot of teams had them as a dark horse. They went out and got Alexander Romanov. You wonder if Lou's going to consider that again this coming summer, if they look to add more to the blue line. Chikrin maybe comes back on the radar. But as of right now, I really think the Los Angeles Kings are the best fit for Chikrin. I think really, without a doubt, um, there's a, a definite need on that blue line. Um, you know, as Dowdy continues to get older, as Edler is probably on his last legs, and, you know, kind of as a guy to help develop some of the younger guys, like a Brant Clark coming up in the next couple of years in L.A., I think Jacob Trickman would be a really good cornerstone piece there, and I think that's something that we have to look at. And shout-out to Chikrin. He scored the other night for the Coyotes, so hopefully that'll raise his draft, his uh, trade stock a little bit as he continues to pick up points here and there. So we'll th see how things turn out. Guys, let me know what you think down below. What do you guys think of the Arizona Coyotes and the latest on Jacob Chikrin? Where do you guys think he will end up getting traded to? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.